Hi, I'm going to show you now how easy and how how easy it is to change price of the EPOS system products. Uh, most of the software they have to go back office then open the, the search the products and um, then change price but we have uh, created uh, this software to make life a lot easier rather than making it complicated. Um, we have a button called a program. If you go to program then this um, this opens up here it says product programming and we can change price name of the item we can change department we can change tax categories uh, we can also update stocks and everything through this program on the screen itself so now let's change some prices we select the price and press ok now the till is in program mode as you can see it is in program mode whichever item we select it will ask you to change price of the item now green apple is 249 a kilo now now if i just press this one you can change this one to uh, say for example 299 a kilo uh, you want to change the barcode no a pink lady is um, expensive now so let's say for example this one is 349 a kilo now the price is changed to 349 a kilo you can also scan an item and change price it is uh, sold uh, 499 now it is sold for 535 you may want to uh, print a barcode because this might be a shelf um, shelf uh, item so you need to replace the ticket so you can print a shelf ticket or if not you can press close um, so it is very easy to change prices uh, of the system you can also change prices of your um, non regular and zero rated items these are variable items so you can change price there as well um, salads you can say it was a zero price item now you want to sell it for 199 so you it is it is very easy for us to change price as you go along you can also search product this one will just change a price you can search by product and also change a price to 499 so it is very easy and um, comprehensive we made to make your life a lot easier. Now once you are done changing your price and you are satisfied, what you need to do, you need to go to program again. Go to program mode and you have to end the program. This is how you can change prices of the, the items as and when you go. Stock is also the same way we do. When you receive new items, especially for the tobaccos and the cigarettes, you go to product programming, you do stock, you press OK, uh, whichever item you enter, it will ask you to enter the quantity of the item. So you can say this one you have received 24 of them, you can enter. So it will say the stock of this item has been updated successfully. So those items you want to keep a close eye on stocks, so you can basically update the stock from the till itself and uh, when you reach a minimum level, you can find the reports from the back end and um, you can order those items and when they come you can add it into the till especially for tobacco it is a must have for owners because the item gets missing and uh, you don't want to lose 10 pound a pack so this is how you can actually do program um, once the program is finished we can end the program and press ok now you are in cell mode anything you select is actually love coca we change to um, <clears throat> uh, from 535 to 499 now it is selling for the new price also in your fruits you go to apple we change this one to 299 a kilo now if you actually go for one two three four that means one kilo 234 gram according to the price it is this now you may get a bit confused why it is showing here less price and why it is showing a bit more price here because it's a single unit just because of the tax variation here this column here shows you the the price before VAT. If it is a zero VATed item, this price and this price is the same. So if we go for one kilo now, it is two ninety nine because it's an apple. It's a green item, zero VAT. So it is the same price here. So this item is a X VAT price, and this is the VAT price included in your um, in your um, selling price. Uh, by far we have made the system very easy for you to use it is a very comprehensive system it's a clutter-free design so we, we we try to give you the maximum visibility possible 
so that you don't have to go into different different functions and do it we also have options for manager functions like newspaper rounds those who newspaper deliveries we have discounts we have remove discounts no sell to open the drawer you can price override you can go into refund mode um, refund mode for uh, technical reasons we don't actually show because it, it varies and um, uh, simply if you go click on this product uh, on this button you are in refund mode as you can see here you are in refund mode um, you can scan those items of the receipt that you see or the item they are returning from, um, you can scan them and they will come on the price and then basically you can refund in cash or card um, um, <clears throat> so we can basically go to return mode and um, this is how we, we conduct a sell The, this is also has a back office function most of the work you can also do from the back office as well uh, the settings has um, setting has all the buttons and layouts of your uh, screens uh, you can create your categories and subcategories visiting onto these buttons uh, you can also um, create your staff and people from this uh, these options here you can add a user and you can um, define what type of user are they it is like an administrator or a manager typically owner of the administrator so they don't assign any more administrator unless they want to uh, training clerk is those staff um, basically new and uh, sometimes people use it training clerks and they don't register their sale amounts um, you can also have a normal clerk a training clerk as well as accountants accountants mainly access all of your reports uh, if you add a clerk, it's simple to add the name of the clerk which appears on the login screen, name, uh, last name here, email addresses, they are not necessary anyway, they are not compulsory but password is, uh, although it don't ask the password if it is a normal clerk, they just simply tap their name and go into the system to do the cell. Um, uh, you can restrict the, the staff from doing things such as allowing discounts or if um, you want them to open the cash drawer so all these restrictions you can apply to your staff and then once you have added you can save the staff okay um, more um, more options i will show you into the next videos thank you